Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel! And I'm here to talk about Whateverthon. Numero dos. N number two. So, what is Whateverthon? Number two. Well, Whateverthon is a readathon in which you can read whatever you want. Which is, you know, you probably like, but I do that anyway. But this is a team based gig. And you can join a team. And you can put in the amount of books you're going to read per that month. So it's going to be in June. It starts in June. And there's like a whole point system you can join in as well. Book browsing blog on YouTube started it. And she has like a whole bunch of people working with it as well. So I'm going to link her original video down below in my description. So check that out to find out all about the point system and how you can get involved. And you know, it's really, really groovy. So I totally, totally recommend it. In terms of groups, there are four groups, and I can't remember all of them. I can only remember my one. So I've joined the TBR Travelers. Because I really need to get through my TBR. Big effing time. So the various ways to earn points, I don't remember all of them, but I remember the bingo card. So hopefully I can stick it here. Hopefully, hopefully it comes here in my editing. Who knows? But the bingo card is just a way to earn more points. And it's also a really fun way to get involved. So each team has their own TBR bingo card. And the one that's over here is for the TBR travelers. So as you can see here, I don't know, somewhere here, that there is a whole bunch of selections you can try and bingo your way through. And like bingo, it's like if you get across, if you get diagonal, if you get down, you know, that's how bingo functions. And you can try and get the full bingo if you're really, really adventurous. You know, it's up to you. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my June TBR as a TBR uh, traveler, as it were. So the first prompt is TBR veteran. And for that, I have Moonfleet by, oh my God, I should probably know who this is by. My f The first prompt is TBR veteran. So that is the book that's been on your TBR the longest, or, you know, has been on your TBR for ages. So for this one, I chose Moonfleet by J. Mead Faulkner, which is a Victorian novel about a the village of Moonfleet. And um, it follows the story of a young boy who gets involved in a kind of smuggler's ring looking for a lost diamond. It's pretty groovy. I only know this through the uh, concept album by Chris de Burr. And I remember a TV series with Anar and Bernard came out uh, back in 2004. 13 I believe so this has been in my TBR since then this has been I, I started reading it in too late in December 2013 and I stopped so I'm gonna pick it up again and I'm gonna use that to hail this prompt to accomplish this prompt the second prompt is the and of a and so any basically a book with any of those in the title so I chose The Secret History by Donna Tart. Everybody and their mother raves about this book. And I'm just hankering to see what the big deal is all about and whether it will be one of my favorite books as well. Whether I will fall in love with it. I'm so looking forward to this book. I don't actually know what it's about, so I'm just gonna read the back. Under the influence of the charismatic classics professor, a group of clever eccentric misfits at an elite New England college discover a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the humdrum existence of their contemporaries. But when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality, their lives have changed profoundly and forever. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to read this. I, seriously, I just, I've had everybody I know who's read this just raves about it. So this is the second one on my TBR for the the and of a uh, and uh, prompt. The third prompt, as you can see, is under 300 pages, a book under 300 pages. And I was just like, well, that's easy. I'm going to read Paranassi. I hope I pronounced that correctly by Susanna Clark. And I don't actually know what this book is about. I, when I picked it up, I thought it was something to do with Greek mythology because, you know, the cover is very Greek mythology-esque. But alas, I don't think it is. I think it's to do something even more I think it's to do with something even more fantastic. I mean, you know what? My dog is barking, but he's been barking for the last five minutes of me trying to edit this video. So you're just gonna have to listen to him bark. He is calling out to the world. <laughs> he wants to be heard. That's just boomer booming. It seems like a really groovy book. 
Um, I think it's literary fiction if I'm gonna place a genre on it. So yeah, definitely. Um, very excited with this one. And the next prompt is cozy reading time. I'm not exactly sure what that prompt entails, but if it's like a cozy read that you can, you know, huddle up in your armchair or your bed or a deck chair or whatever, a bench, um, then I found the perfect book for it. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Very excited about this one. It was an impulse buy. I just, I'd only heard about it through booktube and I thought the cover was really pretty and I got attracted to it. I love the idea of a fairy tale. As you can tell from my previous videos, I read a lot of um, fantasy and fairy tale-esque kind of fantasy. So this one is probably going to be my baby, you know? I'm really super looking forward to it. And last but not least, the fifth prompt I'm going for is recently hauled. And I've already started reading it. It's called Ransom My Heart by Meg Cabot. And um, I'm super, super looking forward to this. Like, it's a tie-in with the Princess Diaries series, but it's separate. It's set in 12th or 13th century England. I can't remember which period. But, and it's a, it's a romance. It's a beautiful written romance, and I'm a sucker for romances. Like, I will do anything for a good romance. So I'm really excited to read this. I probably will read it first, considering I've started reading it already. So yeah, um, I picked up this book in March 2022. So it's one of my most recently hauled. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So excited. So that's my TBR for whatever thon. I only pledged five books. I'm really excited to get on with it and to be a part of this readathon. It's my second readathon because I did a historical uh, fiction readathon with Katie at Books and Things. It's my second readathon as a booktuber and I'm super excited to get involved. So yeah, I will love you and leave you for now and I hope everything's groovy with you. So yeah, bye.